What's going on guys, Busmaster99 here. My dad just got done test driving this 2017 GLC 300 Formatic SUV. And now I'm going to give you guys a tour of it. So this is what the key looks like. Insert it here. And then turn it. And to start it, simply step on the brake and flick the key. This has a very, very smooth uh, steering system. This vehicle has Mercedes all new 9G Tronic automatic transmission and to engage it, you put your foot on the brake, obviously. Pull it all the way down for drive, and as you notice, the parking brake took itself off. That is also new for 2017. Up half a click or down half a click, depending on position for neutral. All the way up for reverse, which also engages the rear view camera. And the button on the end is P for park. got the window locks naturally all four windows are fully automatic or not lock and unlock three-person memory heated seats seat adjustment controls there's your fuel gauge it's an LED readout and your temperature readout is the same as your fuel readout LED configuration. And now I'm going to flip on the exterior lighting, the rear fog lights, and the hazard lights. And now let's go ahead and see how that looks on the outside. So, as you can see, it has LED headlights, LED turn signals. LED side turn signal mirrors, of course, and LED tail lights, and an LED rear fog light. I'm going to go ahead and pop the bonnet now. So this is a two liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine good for 241 horsepower average about 24 miles per gallon 21 in the city 28 on the highway Now let's go ahead and look at some other features this car has to offer. It's got the Burmester audio system. It's got manual shift paddles. So if you put the transmission in gear, you can put it on over in manual mode. There's also a manual toggle right here to switch between uh, automatic and manual modes. So the M button will permanently engage manual mode. Go back to automatic just by hitting it again. And then you can also pull a paddle to engage manual mode. This is your eco start stop button. When you come to a stop and the engine is warm and you're in drive or neutral, the engine will shut off to save fuel. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in park. It's your favorite button, back button. This does not have the touchpad.
climate controls. You also got some shortcuts down here. Here's the menu button. You can go between your airflow menu, your temperature menu, your air distribution menu, and so on and so forth. Basically, that's your climate menu. You got different modes. You can change your air temperature. And then press up when you're done. You can select the manual setting or you can leave it on auto. Most people will just leave it on auto. Go between navigation, radio, media, um, telephone, and vehicle settings. Check your fuel consumption. You've got an in-vehicle operator's manual, your time settings, your vehicle settings, and your individual mode configuration. Acoustic lock feedback, belt adjustment, so the, be uh, the belt will tug on you when you buckle up. Automatic mirror folding, uh, locator lighting, so when you're unlocking your car at night, the mirrors will automatically turn on. The mirror lights will automatically turn on. Automatic door locks. Exterior lighting delay. So that's if you leave it on auto. You can have it wait to go off. There are many different things you can configure in the individual mode. You can set the engine to one of four settings, Eco, Comfort, Sport, or Sport Plus. In the AMG GT, you get a race setting, so you can put the engine in race mode. You can adjust the steering feel, Comfort, or Sport. And Sport basically tightens up the steering feel while Comfort loosens it up. Your auto start stop fun function. You can turn that on or off. And your airflow settings. Comfort and Eco. So you can increase or reduce your airflow with that. You've got shortcuts for everything down here too your eject button, your hazard lights, black piano veneer trim, center storage with two USB inputs as well as an SD card slot. Here's the glove box. Here's your dual zone climate control switch. can switch between your different modes, your digital speedometer, your odometer, your range to empty, your eco display, uh, since you've driven the car, how many miles you've driven. You can hit the back button to access the menus on this screen. There are more vehicle settings here. This is more of an admin mode. So your drive assist, your automatic lights, daytime running lights. You can only change the daytime running lights setting with the engine off. But basically you can turn those on and off. That's the only thing you can change in the light menu. You can change from miles to kilometers. You can format the system memory. And as for drive assist, you can 
turn on or off some collision prevention aids such as uh, um, pre-safe brake. Also your attention assist which uh, basically reminds you to take a break. That's what the coffee symbol is in case anyone's wondering. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. Stay tuned for more, as always.